Hi, everybody. So, you don't really know me that well, but I'm the kind of person that likes to do real crazy stuff and like try out some weird things. And I saw something today. It wasn't the first time I saw it. It's the Copic uh, ink pen thing. Basically like an ink pen where you write with it, but it's for manga drawing and inking the line art and all. And I've been wanting to do this for quite a while because I feel like I could try and make one myself because that's a ch it's a expensive. And I feel like I have so many like ink pens like this at home, so I don't use them anymore. I can just why not just try and make one myself? So the way I'm thinking this is gonna work. Obviously these um, tips they have aren't really what I would want to draw with because they're pretty thick, not very... Let me just put something under here, okay? They have this thick writing. So we want to get rid of that round ball there. So I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do because that's gonna be the most like if I fuck that up I'm not gonna go further into it with anything else so I've done this before like file down a pen initially I was thinking okay now I have ink everywhere already initially I was thinking of just changing out this part with like G pen nib I don't think that's gonna work though because it's very special come on are you kidding me come on it's it doesn't even focus on anything. Okay, what the hell? All right. So as you can see, it's like a special shape. It's like all flat in the f in the front, and a G pen is shaped a lot differently. If I remember that right, let me just grab my uh, G pen right here. It's very different. Oh, okay, you can't see. It's a totally different nib. So I don't think that's gonna work out. We just need this to be like thinner. Ignore my nails. I'm sorry for that. So we need the tip as you can see it's like really thick compared to the G pen and It's round so you can write with it. So we need to Make that smaller so we can draw with it. Thankfully as you watch my room tour I hope so I have a nail file in my room. Uh, it's pretty ratchet. So ignore that, but I'm just gonna Use the biggest hardest file I guess and I'm gonna start and file down very gently carefully as I said I've done this before because I didn't have a G pen before so I had to use normal calligraphy pens and they were always too thick so I would file them down until they were the right thickness it would still look really bad but whatever DIY Akai's bag okay let's see if it even does anything or if it just Looks like it's filing it down little by little, so that's good. We have a lot of product here on the top. There's a little ball basically at the end of it, so that when you write, you don't get stuck like with a G pen. It's gonna hurt me. Like, you see, it's getting stuck. Oh my god, that was painful. I don't even know if it was on camera though. I don't really. I'm not really scared I'm gonna fuck this up or anything, so. I'm just going so it still looks pretty much the same it feels different on the paper but it's very scraping the paper it's probably because I'm using the hardest file here so it's very rough still I'm going to go down with the other ones to make it very smooth at the end anyway so it's fine Okay, so what I did is I completely scraped off the ball underneath it, so that's good. I filed it off, and now I'm gonna file off the top ball, and you wanna be careful with that because it's smaller. Top and bottom of the nib look pretty good to me. Now we gotta go on to the sides. So the sides are really tricky because you have to be extremely careful that you keep both sides the same thickness because it can happen that you file down one side a little too much and the other side is gonna be thicker you have to make sure both sides are the same um, have the same amount of material on both sides otherwise you're not gonna be able to draw with it so already I can see that this side has a little 
bit less on here. So I'm gonna go on this side first. Putting some water so I can clean it off. So I'm able to see what the hell I'm actually doing. I'm going back with the file. So I'm just gonna go and dip it in some ink to see how it draws. If it even still draws, we don't know the end. I haven't used my ink in quite some time. That means it's gonna go everywhere. Just dip it in a tiny bit of ink. So as you can see, it still draws. It's able to draw. Oh, right. I can just take this out, apparently. Oh, well. I'm just gonna... Okay. All right. Um, this just this one just fell apart basically. This allows me to try something out. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna try this out, guys. So I'm gonna go with some um something else in here just to see if it work would work with one of these. I'm not too sure about it because this one's. You see how short this is? And this is like very long. So it might probably won't work. And this is gonna stain my finger really crazy or whatever. I'm just gonna try first and put it like in the way it comes with it without cutting it down or anything. Trying putting it back in the pen. Not easy. I wanna go in there. I wonder if I would cut it down or like bend it more. If it would fit then. So I'm gonna try this out. My hands are covered in ink by the way, but I don't care. The thing if I would use a G pen and put it in like on there, like wouldn't it the thing is this is like way too long. That's for damn sure. So I don't know if I need to trim this down. I kinda wanna try it with my older one though. <laughs> Cause I'm a little scared of what might happen to it. I can't get it out, that's the only problem. And I don't want to break it. Being very careful with this, okay. So, I would need to bend it a little bit. Oh my god, this hurts so much. See, like, I'm trying this so that y'all don't have to try it. If it fails, then you don't have to do it. I tried it for you. Okay, there's um, the reason why this worked. I just saw, like, it crack. Like, there's a little crack in there, cracked on the side. That's the reason why this. I'm able to put this in. This is why it fell out. Okay, why is there a hair? Like, go it out of here. I don't want to stab myself with a battery pen in it because it's really sharp. Alright. Um, the thing is... Yeah, this is gonna break any second right now. Get out. So I would have to cut the G-Pen down in order to fit in there. The G-Pen, I've been using this one for quite a while, so I have two backups, right? Oh my god, I just touched my face with my hands. I hope I'm not blue. Whatever. I would need to cut it down. I don't... Sure, I mind it. I mean... Wants to do that, but whatever. I mean, I have two backups, so I'm gonna clean this one. Kinda weird, I never hold never held a nib like this. Okay, so I'd have to cut it down this much. Let me just make a little mark here with a pen. Yeah, you can. I'm not really see it that well, but if this works, I am a genius. So this one, as you saw, is a little broken on the side. I don't know what I think about that, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I got my cutting pliers, and I hope I'm not gonna fuck up the G pen with this thing. Yeah. That's what I thought. It barely men made a dent in it. Because it's like really strong metal. Imagine it flying into my eye. Wouldn't that be just great? I don't know if I have anything that would be able to cut a G pen. And if I ask my dad if he has anything, he's gonna do it and he's gonna break it. Because it's. <sighs> he's, he can't do shit like this. For safety, always close your ink jars, guys. Always. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna put away the new one. 
because I, um, I'm not gonna fuck this one up. I don't wanna do that. Okay, put this in here. Put this away. I really don't know how I'm going to cut this to size. It's very, very strong. Like, doesn't even bend when I touch it. Like, it's like, I don't even care. I don't know what to do right now. I'm just, like it barely made a little dent. So I don't really know what am I supposed to use for this. See how it goes like that? Like, why? Oh, got it. Oh my god. So exciting. It's kind of scary, but it's uh, kind of exciting too. Ah, I'm so scared. Okay, got it. Okay, so the trick is you have to hold it um, like straight? Because it's gonna want to bend, you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't know what I mean. Okay. It's still scary because I don't want it to fly inside of my eye. That wouldn't be too fun. Actually, it doesn't even... It's so difficult once you do it the right way. Okay. I need to flatten this out somehow. I can't get it anymore, like... Oh my god. I almost done. Okay, I just got it. <laughs> Do not touch the edge, though. I think this is really killing you if you touch this. Can you see how sharp this looks? I literally going to kill you. I don't trust this edge at all. Yeah, not really. Carefully going to file it. Okay, this file. So I was in the basement and I was filing it down a lot more, trying to fit it in, etc. I got it fit in and it doesn't seem to be going to come out or anything. The last problem we have is that first of all there's this plastic thing that should be snug with the metal which I don't know if it's really necessary or not but oh my god yeah like I don't I don't know if it's super necessary if it is or not um, but also the second problem, which I was sure was gonna happen, is that I can close it alright, but not all the way, because it's too long here still. So I'm just gonna take it out and try to make the bottom part a little shorter so we can put it in a little more, and I hope I'm not gonna screw this up by doing this. Okay, there we go. Um, by the way, I, I tried washing my hands, it didn't really work. Um, I guess I'm gonna walk around with that for a few days. That's fine, I don't mind it that much. As you can see, um, I filed this down a lot, and it looks a lot better. If you file it down, I'd recommend you put some tape on it, like I'm doing, because then, first of all, you don't mess up your skin but also you don't mess up your pen too much, so I just put it around the tip I wrap it around a lot, like I wrap a lot of tape here because um, I want to secure it obviously, so a lot of it, and then you have a better handle too and I got me some more of this and I'm gonna file down also in the length, length mostly and we're gonna see how much I can take down now so I'm just leaving it wrapped in the tape, um, hoping there's not too much crap in here so it's not gonna get too dirty. Wiping it off a little, as much as I can. And then I'm gonna put this on top of here. And I kind of scraped away like a little bit of the plastic here because then um, I got a little more space and room to put this on. This is how, how it's gonna be now, um, hopefully it's going to work, get in 
in there. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's just took everything out. Try and make stuff fit as much as I can. Let me clean this real quick. It looks pretty good. Okay. So now I'm going to open this up. I'm going to put the black ink in here. I like the black one better, so I'm gonna put this on. Let's see if it fits and closes. It doesn't close perfectly, and the tip is bent a little bit. Let's try and make it. Okay, there's no ink yet. It looks pretty promising, honestly. So, it's not in, in the best way, I guess. Let me just. Alright, so I haven't tried them out really yet, so we're gonna do that together. I was finally able to make it um, work. I don't know if it's good right now or not, I let it sit a bit while I cleaned everything up. So we're gonna see if it actually draws. Um, doesn't draw when I started. I can see the ink coming right now, so I'm just waiting. I think the problem is that the old ink here doesn't want it let it flow so I heard if you warm up the thing it's gonna flow easier yeah so you gotta clean the in-between here before you can use it actually it's just ah, it's a little stupid you know okay um Okay, there's nothing coming out of it. I don't know. Let's try this one. The one we filed down. Okay, so this one works a whole lot better than the other one um, because it actually works. It's still a little rough, so I'm just going to run it over these finer things. doesn't flow as nicely as I was hoping that it would, but that just might be the ink and not the rest of it, like, I don't know what the problem is here. Leave it a little bit and we're gonna try this one again. doesn't let the ink flow at all but if you yeah that doesn't really work either like I don't even know okay that was a lot it doesn't recharge itself so there's no ink flow coming down and making it so I can draw with the ink that's coming but the pen works when I dip the dip it in ink like it's supposed to I mean I still have to dip it but if you just think about that this is a lot easier to carry around than a normal dip pen with the pen holder 
and it's easier to hold. So I'm having a, an easier time drawing with this and I feel like right now it's working. Okay, so I found another cartridge and I also found my old pens that I was using in school. Uh, I think we're gonna be able to use some of this stuff and I'm gonna try out today with the um, alcohol. The only alcohol I have is nail polish remover, so um, we will make it work. So I'm taking my... carefully, of course, as always. Um, I'm gonna put some ink in here. So... So it's like three quarters pretty much full. Try not to make it fall. I'm just going to put it in so it's pretty much full. And then, yeah, let's put it in the teddy one. And I have a use for it at least. And then I'll close this. And I'm gonna shake it a little bit. Close it's already flowing, so that's a good sign because it's taking out the old ink here first. We all know how these pens work, right? Still not flowing very nicely. Okay, so it's basically the next day. Yesterday I um, tried drawing with it a little bit. I only drew with, oops, um, I only drew with the G pen because the other ones um, I just didn't feel like using them right now. I wanted to try out with the G pen today uh, or yesterday only. This was the first one I inked and this was the second one I inked. I kind of fucked up the fringe because uh, it's too thick, the lines are all squiggly and weird, but I still had to dip it in to the ink. So when you take it like this, it doesn't really do anything. Um, off camera, I think I did this off camera too. I changed out the nib from this one, the teddy bear one, um, and the black one, mostly because it's longer and um, the nib that was in here originally was actually longer too, so kind of seemed like it was gonna be easier. I put the nib from this one in here and I'll put the G-Pen in there. It turned out to be a good idea because when I draw like this, it's easier because it's longer when I draw hair and stuff, so with this one it would have been a little more, well, I guess it would have worked. But not as easy. So yeah, um, if I just take them and try to draw with them, none of them work. And I think that's mostly because the ink is too... like it's not normal ink you would use for it. So I don't really know. Um, I'm not mad at it because I still have the pen. I can dip it in. I have a lid for it. I can take it with me. It's more convenient than uh, having it like this one or even like this one, because this one is super long, you always stab yourself with the nib. You can't put it in anything because it's always too long for any kind of case. And it, the nib can break so easily. So here I have a lid for it and the nib can't break at all. It's very secure in there and that's what I really like about it. So in conclusion, uh, I would say, is it worth making it yourself? Probably not. At least it doesn't work the way I wanted it to. Maybe if you have different ink, because my mine crystallizes and it's really thick ink and uh, I don't know. It's pretty weird ink. It, maybe if you have different ink, then maybe it works. The downside is uh, making it is a little dangerous with the tools and the sharp tips and everything and. It's a little bit too much of work, things are flying around, like if you have the money to buy that G-Pen one, or not the G-Pen one, the Copic one, go for it, really. Um, I just, it was a tryout, I wanted to see if I could do it, I will still use them. Alright, so that brings us to the end of the video, if you enjoyed, you know, on YouTube works, don't forget to thumbs up. Uh, I, we're almost at 100 subscribers, so um, destroy the subscribe button, guys. Follow me on Instagram for update shots of anything. 
and on Twitter and everything, you know how it works. So, okay, bye!